I am a mental health therapist trying to improve my website and get more traffic to potentially land more clientele. Up until this point, I've not needed to depend on my website due to being heavily reliant on insurance. I now want to get off of insurance panels and, re and rely mainly on my website. I know some SEO ex experts charge upwards of five grand or X amount every month, and I'm not really at a point where I can comfortably pay that yet. As someone who is totally new to all of this, what should I be focused on? Should I just pay the money? Does it make more sense to start with some Google ads or improving my website, start a blog? Any suggestions, help, resources appreciated? Thank you in advance. Um, great question. Well, I mean, first thing I say is for those of you that are already here, you've already made that first step, right? Knowledge is power. Understanding what you should and you know, can and can't do is definitely going to be a, a benefit for you. Now, if you are just, you know, you're not looking to learn this stuff, you're not looking to spend hours upon hour upon hour understanding what SEO is and how to do it, you're just, you're, you're running a mental health uh, clinic or service and you want to just start getting clients or patients in without kind of diving under the hood of SEO, honestly, some of the best ways to do it would be to really focus in on your Google business profile, right? So most of the times, you know, your, your health professionals like this are going to be looking for local folks to uh, to be, you know, their patients, or they're going to physically come into their office and help them, uh, you know, with their mental health. Uh, and so your Google business profile is one of those things that can make a huge difference. Uh, there's no cost to it. It's free. Uh, you just have to kind of fill out all the information that's there, be as accurate as possible. There's certainly rules to follow, such as making sure you pick the right category, making sure you use your right address, verifying that you are who you say you are and you're located where you say you're located. Um, but and then, of course, getting and cultivating reviews. Uh, so as you get reviews from patients that come in, uh, that's going to be helpful. Of course, there's a little bit of a trickiness there, I think. And when you're in mental health, you may have a harder time getting someone to leave you a review because they may not want to say their name or put their name out there um, for mental health, uh, you know, uh, review. But that's the cheapest way to go. It's probably gonna have the best bang for the buck because, you know, when you're looking for things, you know, you need a dentist, you need a doctor, you need a mechanic, uh, you tend to go to Google, uh, or one of the major engines and you look for the reviews. You see who's near, nearby, how many reviews they have, um, what people have to say about them, about working with them. Uh, and those are the things that you make decisions on. And so that's going to be your easiest bet. You could certainly go ahead and do ads with Google ads or uh, for your industry. I believe you could do a Google local service ad of the Google guarantee, the Google screen. This is where Google basically checks your credentials and says, yeah, you're a licensed person to do this kind of thing. Uh, and it would generate phone calls. But these are going to be expensive. OK, the, the, these are you're paying per lead as opposed to per click and per lead. It could run you depending on your industry from. $20, $25 per lead to hundred bucks or more, depending on the industry that you're in. Um, so paid ads are great, but you know, you've got to get it just right. You've got to dial it in right. Otherwise it could really run you a lot of money. And then Google ads or even Facebook ads, same thing. It may take a little while for you to find an ad that works for find an ad that actually converts to a client. You have to make sure that wherever you drop those people from those ads, like the paid clicked ads that go from a Google ad to a landing page on your website somewhere. You have to make sure that those landing pages are built properly, that there's good content on them that's original, that you're offering something of value in return for collecting that user's name and email or phone number or both. Um, what are you gonna give them? Are you gonna give them a discount on their first thing? Are you gonna give them a free consultation? Are you gonna give them uh, some, some gift card or something? Like what are you gonna offer them? Uh, to give you that name and phone number and email so that you can kind of continue to reach out to them. So, and it's, again, it's expensive. You have a lot of other people that are getting in there, a lot of other people spending a lot of money who've been doing it a long while. Uh, and you just may find that it, it costs a lot of money. So you really have to track your return on investment. If you're spending, you know, $3,000 a month in ads and you're getting five clients, but those five clients only pay you, 500 bucks, uh, you know, a month, well, you're actually losing money then, right? What, $2,500 and you're spending three. So you're actually losing money. So you might be getting clients, but you're not, it's not, a, there's no return. So you've got to track that a lot better as well. So, um, I mean, those would probably be for, for when I have people reach out to me and can't afford our agency service fees, I typically kind of push them into the idea of either learning it on their own 
which again is going to require time and effort and practice and so on, or um, getting started with like a business profile and really filling it out and getting it to a place where people who look for the kind of things uh, that you offer in the area that you're physically located in, uh, you have the best shot at showing up, get some reviews on there. People can give you a call or visit your website from there. So that's kind of where I'd say to start is the business profile.